Mastering Synthesis Responding to Opposing Arguments Hello everyone, and welcome back to our series on English Language Learning. Today, we are going to focus on a very important skill in debates and discussions, synthesizing information. Specifically, we will learn how to respond to opposing arguments using synthesis. It's a powerful tool that can enhance your critical thinking and communication skills. So, let's get started. Before we dive into how to use synthesis in debates, let's define it. Synthesis is the process of combining two or more pieces of information to create a new understanding or perspective. It's like taking pieces of a puzzle and putting them together to see the bigger picture. In debates, this skill is particularly useful when you're faced with opposing arguments. By synthesizing the information from those arguments, you can come up with comprehensive and convincing responses. It can also help you find common ground or propose a novel solution. In any debate or discussion, the first step to synthesis is listening with an open mind. This means genuinely trying to understand the other person's viewpoint, even if it's different from your own. Keep your mind open and receptive to new information, even when it contradicts your current stance. Remember that the goal is not to W in the argument but to arrive at the truth. That truth may be a synthesis of your views and the opposing ones. Once you have listened to the opposing arguments, the next step is to analyze them. Look for the strengths and weaknesses in the points raised. Perhaps the other person has made a compelling argument, or they have presented evidence that you hadn't considered before. Maybe they've highlighted a potential flaw in your viewpoint. Conversely, maybe the arguments are weak or based on misconceptions. Whatever the case, analyzing the arguments will give you the information you need for the synthesis process. After analyzing the opposing arguments, it's time to formulate your response. This response should be a synthesis of the opposing views and your own. It should also be based on your analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of both sides. Your synthesized response can take different forms. It might be a compromise that takes into account the valid points from both sides. Or it could be a novel solution or perspective that hadn't been considered before. What's important is that your response is not just a defense of your own views, but a thoughtful consideration of all the information presented. Finally, after you've formulated your synthesized response, you need to present it. Your aim should be to communicate your viewpoint clearly, concisely, and respectfully. Start by acknowledging the opposing arguments and the valid points they have raised. Then, present your response, explaining how it takes into account these points and also your own views. This respectful approach will not only make your argument more convincing, but it will also promote a constructive debate and mutual understanding. And that's it for today's lesson on using synthesis in debates and discussions. Remember, the key to effective synthesis is keeping an open mind, analyzing the arguments, and crafting a comprehensive response. With practice, you'll find that this skill not only helps in debates but also in everyday conversations. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English skills.